Hi everyone, I'm Jim from Loop Corps, Minnesota. Hope you're doing well. Today we just want to do a quick walkthrough and give you some of the highlights about our EP2 series progressive auto lubrication system from Loop Corps. A uh, couple things about the system itself. It basically has a pump and drive system that controls the volume that comes out of the pump. A couple key features that customers like about it is our reservoir stays clear. If you can see on here, I'll tip it down for you, there is a follower plate and a pressure spring. And the reason that's important is we pump EP2 grease year round. EP2 grease is the type of grease that most manufacturers recommend in heavy industrial applications. It gives you the best protection. Not all companies can pump heavy grease. We can, and one of the main reasons is it has a pressure plate that's constantly pushing down on the grease. Another key feature that our customers tell us they really like is it's very easy to see how much grease is in the pump. A common reason people say they don't like auto lube is it's hard to tell if there's grease. Because we have the pressure plate and our reservoir is made out of a special plastic called Macrolon, it doesn't get cloudy, it doesn't get yellow. You can see it from 100 feet away. It's a very visible, distinct line to show you where the grease level is. The pump itself is constructed of a lot of aluminum and stainless steel, which in Minnesota's environment, we have a lot of issues with heat and cold, road salt, road grime. Some of those can be very corrosive on pump components. Uh, we're using aluminum, stainless steel. Uh, the electronic circuitry itself is potted in silicone behind this plastic cover. And the reason that's important is that water and dirt can ingress into the electronic circuitry because our circuits are in, filled with silicone, water cannot ingress into the control panel itself. I have dealt with many service issues with customers saying uh, the electronics are failing, the circuit board is failing, and therefore the pump is junk. This would be some, uh, something we'll hear in our competitors. To address that issue with loop core, our electronics are filled with silicone behind a plastic panel. To control the pump itself, the switching is a magnetic switch. There's no external buttons or switches that after repeated exposure to sun and moisture, uh, they can sometimes crack and fail. It allows water to ingress into the switching mechanism and then it eventually fails. The magnetic control is uh, no contact. It's easy to program, it's easy to change. There's only five run programs, five rest programs, and that's how we control how much volume comes out of the pump. The pump element itself resides on the side of the, of the pump, and what's happening is when the pump kicks on, there's an eccentric cam that spins around, and it strikes a piston. Each time it strikes the piston, it's a known volume of grease that comes out of the pump. So when we're laying out the system design, how we're controlling how much grease goes to each type of point is a function of two factors. Number one, how often do we run the pump? What is its displacement? How many cc's per minute of runtime are coming out of that? And then the grease flows through a, a tube and goes to a divider valve. These are, this is what we call a machine progressive divider. And how it functions is as pressure comes into the divider block, there's a series of shuttle valves that spool back and forth inside this unit. If you would cut it apart, you would see there's all sorts of cross porting. And basically what's happening here is as the pressure's coming, there's a certain machined exit strategy for the grease to be dissipated. Again, so as long as there's pressure coming into the divider block, everything is mechanical. There's no electronic circuitry. Uh, these are very highly machined. Um, Loop Core makes them themselves in Canada. Uh, they are very durable. It's hard steel. They can handle tremendous amounts of pressure. You know, in a system like this, on an application out in the field, a pump can generate enough pressure to feed a, a concrete conveyor that pumps seven stories straight up in the air. Gen system pressures generally 
we like to see about a thousand pounds of pressure or less. You know, now people say, well, considering that it's really cold out, shouldn't we see more pressure? And the answer to that is ideally we don't want to see a lot of pressure. The easier we can get grease to the point, the less problems you're going to have with union failures, uh, with pump problems because of high system pressure. So really in a well-functioning auto loop system, we usually like to be able to grease the machine with uh, 1,000 or 1,000 pounds or less of system head pressure. Normally in the field install, this is a display stamp, but normally we would integrate a pressure gauge right here in the pump face. So as an operator, as a mechanic, you would be able to, by using the magnetic switch, confirm that there's system power. You would turn the key on, you'd be able to indicate with an LED that there is ignition power. And then by activating a cycle, you visibly see the pressure gauge engaging. The pressure should come up. As the grease moves through the system and cycles, the pressure gauge should drop. I do hope you found this uh, video to be helpful. You know, again, today we just did a quick review of the overview of the system. And we certainly can uh, answer any questions you may have. We'd be delighted to come out and see you, talk to you about your equipment, talk to you about your lubrication challenges with the shortage of people and the challenge of getting replacement trucks, replacement parts, keeping your, your equipment lubricated makes good economic sense. This machine works when your machine works. It doesn't take vacations, it doesn't take days off. It functions and it protects your equipment by giving it fresh baths of grease once an hour versus once whenever you get to it. If you have questions, please give me or my team at Loop Corps Minnesota a call or send us an email. We're happy to talk to you. We're always uh, interested in hearing your questions about auto loop systems. We service Loop Corps. Uh, we also see a lot of other systems and we're confident we can shed some light on any of your auto lubrication problems.